All right, Scorpio, welcome to your weekly horoscope for April 13th through the 19th. My name is Athen. Okay, so we've got this week uh, a new moon taking place on Saturday here in your sixth house of health, routine, diet, taking care of the daily uh, stuff and also your self-improvement in general. Um, we have the new moon there. We also have Mars there, so I think you're very motivated by that still this week and uh, some important aspects with your ruler actually uh, from that sixth house involving Neptune, which I'll talk about. So, and Jupiter also. So let's look at uh, this week as a whole. We're in the third quarter phase on Monday, and then as we go through the week uh, towards Saturday, we're going towards the new moon energy. So the energies are dying down. They're halfway full, and then they're, they're not full at all by Saturday. So uh, this is a time this week, mostly like Wednesday onward, of um, you know going within this is a balsamic phase of the moon energies are dying down we had a very perhaps intense time back in March and so there's a lot of visions there's a lot of ideals a lot of optimism coming through this week and uh, but it's not really a time of pushing forward that much um, as much as it's a time of maybe working out the details thinking about things covering you know getting all your ducks in a row you might say and um, setting your intentions and that'll be getting the most out of it but you can move forward if you're guided to of course and this is all different for everybody because you all have your sun and moon somewhere completely different but um it's just doing that balanced way of moderation and taking things slow so it starts on monday when your ruler mars sextiles up to neptune which is about moving forward with our visions and our ideals and this is neptune in your fourth so monday and this is the weekend prior to this as well there's been um, this opportunity for you to move towards this these visions you've had maybe with home or visions with family or anything involving home, family, past roots. And so Monday is a great day to put energy into that, um, especially when it's about um, improvement in some way or the craft or it could be renovation. It could It's very earthy with Mars in that sixth house because you guys are taking care of the day-to-day -day stuff. And so there's a lot of this day-to-day -day activity, which I think you can certainly, uh, there might be an opportunity to do some of that around home or with family and things like this. And then on Tuesday, we've got uh, the sun shifting into Aries, which is your sixth house. So this is where the new moon's going to be taking place. But here on Tuesday, there's a shift, Tuesday, Wednesday, of um, this passion. And, and you'll find that as you take care of your health, because you are motivated here to, if it's not... It, it would be great for you if it was health, but it may not just be that. It may also be your craft, your work environment, you know, anything involving self-improvement. If you had Mars there, your rulers, this is the time for you. It's all about that right now for you. But with the sun going in there, it's really going to illuminate things. I think you'll find a lot of a passion and enjoyment in taking care of your health and self-improvement and all this stuff. And that'll certainly be a shift. And then through that, there'll be a lot of new beginnings coming about from that sixth house. On uh, Tuesday and Wednesday also, Venus is going to be opposing up to Saturn. Now you've had Venus recently go into your seventh house last week, so I think you guys are enjoying relationships, one-on-one -on -one connections, um, all types of relationships, and so that's a beautiful thing. Keep enjoying that. Uh, but on Tuesday and Wednesday, make sure you're balancing that with a lot of the responsibility that you are involved with because Saturn did recently go into your first house here last October. He's retrograde, so I think you guys are thinking a lot more about your responsibilities, your maturity right now, next for the next few months at least, uh, three or four months. And so that energy there is needing to be balanced. So just make sure the key here and the simplest thing on Tuesday and Wednesday, just make sure you're balancing what you're doing, your responsibilities with your relationships. And if you can find that nice balancing act, that balance between those two areas, then you'll be getting the most out of this. Thursday and Sunday, Mars, uh, squares up to Jupiter. So this is your ruler squaring up to Jupiter here where I think you guys are going to be feeling very optimistic again, perhaps relating to these sixth house matters of work, routine, etc. But also involving your ninth house because Jupiter has been transiting your ninth um, since, um, since the middle part of last year. And he's been retrograde though um, since December, early December. So you guys have maybe been thinking about your life path, thinking about the opportunities that are in your life path. Um, or with philosophy, spirituality, travel, all these things have been in, reflect, in reflection. So now with Jupiter going station direct from last week, and he's going to start to gain momentum this week, and a square from Mars means you're going to be very optimistic, I think, about a lot of these ninth house matters, whether it's spirituality, travel, or what have you. Or just it's really just about the adventurous side, side of life. Jupiter in the ninth loves to be in the ninth. It's about opportunities along your life path. So very expansive energy. But because we're in this new moon on Saturday, and it is a square, 
take the action if you are guided to, if it's involving any of these sixth or ninth house things, just make sure you keep it nice and balanced because uh, like I said, this new moon is a time of being adaptable, making changes, and with this whole new moon in your sixth house, I think things are certainly gonna be changing, involving your health, your diet, your regiment, your self-improvement, helping others improve, your service work is also sixth house. And so, um, yeah, moderate action is gonna be the key there, and I would really recommend doing a lot of the planning and behind the scenes sort of work that does involve that, um, that time up until the new moon. Now, Sunday, we have some, um, aspects here we have Venus squaring up to Neptune trining up to the North Node and Mercury sextiling Neptune so this might be Saturday and Sunday uh, su Sunday in particular though uh, watch any over idealization with relationships I know you guys are certainly enjoying them and that's fantastic but Venus from the seventh squaring up to Neptune in the fourth means that you might um, get very emotional and sentimental about relationships or something like this it could be very idealized just it, it, make sure you're just seeing things for how they actually are and utilize that because mercury is going to be sextiling up to neptune which means you can certainly um, get a lot out of this um, and learn a lot from it um, and there's a lot of opportunities here for you to do creative things imaginative things romantic things all this neptune energy just make sure you're keeping it balanced not blowing it out of proportion um, and then that trine up to the North Node from Venus is reminding you during this weekend that um, this whole year is about your life path in the 11th house. The North Node's been uh, transiting your 11th. It's going to be there all year, which means this is a year for you to network, to get involved with groups, friends, um, anything on a public level, humanitarian, anything larger than self. This has been a whole transformational period here with all of this last month with all of this uh, activity in your fifth of your self-expression now take all of this stuff that you've reflected or learned about about yourself about your self-expression your creativity and joy for life and funnel that into um, your life path of uh, helping others and, and seeing things in, in what's greater than self and contributing in some way to to um, your ideals all right, Scorpio, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please get in touch if you'd like a personal reading, and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care.